Hello, my chosen family. It is me, and this is not a wig. Yes, I have changed my hair once again, but I'm still here. I'm still me. My hair is a mess right now, so that's why I just don't want to show it. I'm going to show you guys a better presentation another day. You guys might have known by now that I get bored with my hair so fast. This is like a last minute decision. I was just like, it's a new season. I actually was blonde for like two days, but you know, I was just thinking about like the upkeep and everything. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I decided last minute that I'm just going to go for like a brown hair look. Something that's a little bit easier to manage because, you know, I'm going to medical school and stuff. So... <laughs> is a lot. So I'm here right now at the library. I just want to go study. I kind of want to pick a different spot. Same thing goes with my hair. I really like different location, different atmosphere. I just want to check everything out. I guess I can safely say that I'm giving in to California a little bit now rather than before. It took me the whole year, but finally I'm like, I'm going to be here for a while. Why don't I just explore things? We're here already. So actually let me go study because I have a lot of homework and then I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Low-key, I'm like underestimate how far that is. It's okay though, I'm wearing my sneakers. Come and take a walk with me Challenge your wildest dreams No more fear Follow that shining star But the vibe in there, I think after like an hour, I just feel super like burned out in the press. <laughs> it's a beautiful space, but personally, not really my thing. I prefer like coffee shop where they play a little bit of music. I mean, there's a place for everyone and that's just not my place. I don't think I would come back. Even though the play was like super serene and chill and beautiful, the dark gray interior and then I think everybody in there was like studying. I can absorb everybody's stress. So I did not feel like, okay, I should be here any longer. I recommend it for those who don't mind the interior, don't mind the stresses of others. Anyways, I'm gonna stop by CVS. I ordered some prints already, so I'm gonna go pick it up. Oh my God, it's calling my name. I never got it what you have to go. I guess this world's too slow for you. I think this beauty- It's such California vibes, like all the palm trees and stuff. In New York, I feel like all I can film for you guys are like, buildings and architecture and here the only thing california have to offer are palm trees and beaches decent weather oh my god am i defending california right now shit i lived here for too long like la made you crazy crazy yeah yeah you don't care what's real no more no you don't want me anymore you only want what you can hello chosen family we're back at the same place again, which is my car. I feel like we should really rename this whole channel Carpool with Vicky or something like that because majority of time, this is where I spend time with the chosen family. Driving and stuck in traffic in California for like hours, you just accumulate so many thoughts, just out and about and just doing errands and stuff. And then I'm just like craving this drink and I'm not really a caffeine kind of person. One of my classmates had shown me um, this like chai tea and it's so good. 
like the cinnamon and everything and I just figured I'm gonna treat myself instead of like the usual sugar cane juice or like boba tea but yeah let's go get it <laughs> So I just got my drink right here. It's actually called an ice mojito latte for a business that have like pride flag, the updated one. On the months that not even pride month, like I appreciate. That's like a nice little touch, you know? I'm a sim for it. Before I go and enjoy some quality time by myself, I do want to answer some of the questions that the Chosen family have sent. I know this is a little bit long overdue, so I'm going to answer a couple of them instead of one. This one is from Zoe. She said, I finally got a scheduled day to get my voice surgery. I cannot wait. I've tried speech therapy. It didn't work. My doctor gave me a referral and they told me it's covered by insurance. Oh, by the way, body positivity. Exercise to redefine the body and to tone the body as well as lost some extra weight and size. Just wanted to let you know that I am very happy so far. What's your view on people having to go through something like this? Love you and the chosen family. Thank you so much, Zoe, for sharing with us. There's a TikToker. I don't know what's their name are on TikTok, but they basically kind of talk about body neutrality instead of body positivity. And I really agree with a lot of it. I think the whole idea behind body positivity is saying that like my body is beautiful and your body is beautiful. Why that is a positive statement. I also feel like what if our body is not beautiful? What if our body is not like meeting the standard of beauty? Is it still valid? We don't have to be beautiful to be valid. We don't have to be beautiful. We don't have to meet people's expectation of how we should be, how our body should look, how our voices should sound like. We should just all be valid. Beauty is just like subjective. We all have something that we're working on. As long as we recognize that, okay, this is something that I want to do for myself. This is something that I want to work on myself and make myself a project. I don't think that's a negative thing so yeah this one is from nikki abelins hi vicky i recently had bottom surgery and i was positive that it wouldn't affect me mentally but little did i know lol any recommendation on how to not go insane in the first couple months of recovery i hope you've been well thank you i relate to this comment so much like i have said before i was very active so i thought that the recovery process would be very easy but it wasn't i was very surprised that it took a toll on my mental health too if you haven't watched those videos that i talk about like my srs updates and stuff i'm gonna put it right here you can check all of those out they're great informational videos i put a lot of thoughts into it every time someone got recommended or like introduced to my channel through my srs lock they always ask me how i'm doing now and i don't want to repeat myself over and over so i do recommend you guys check out those videos mentally i was not prepared for for it and I'm Asian we don't talk about mental health issue as much as we should I got to learn that the hard way during these first couple months you are your worst enemy because you kind of go into it with like some when I say you I mean me I went into it with so many expectations of how I should be I was like oh I'm healthy I'm young I'm gonna be like recover in six months at least you know and it turned out I needed more time than that. I think it took me over a year to like feel close to myself, how I was before. It's good to also like let go of all of that. Don't put all that weight and that pressure on ourselves. Be positive with yourself. Be positive with your bodies. Listen to it. Recognize and monitor every sign and symptoms of when your body is telling you this is too much. I also did a lot of physical therapy. I think once your body feel better, it makes your mental feel better too. Have a good support system. If you don't have that, support yourself. Act like you are your biggest cheerleader. I think that would really, really help. I got surgery during COVID. I went into it with the expectation of not having anybody around me for the first couple of days and I really needed people until I had my complications that when I was allowed visitors, my boyfriend was there for me. And I think that really helped. Don't be afraid to like ask questions and reach out to like your surgeons. A lot of people ask me questions and I'm like, I can tell you about my experience. I'm still not a medical, like, you know, specialist. There are so many questions that I cannot answer. So I would say that you pay a lot of money for it. Make sure that you ask your um, 
providers like all the tips and stuff how to get better that's it for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i'm sorry that my life is super boring actually you know what i'm not sorry that my life is boring i just want to say thank you for being here every day being on every step of the journey with me and um carpooling with me anyway leave a comment below and i'll see you guys next time a cure for the air conditioning Do you sound too?